Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome to Big Al Sports World and we're back with the Boyhood Returns and today we take on Grove United in the league and as you can see we are sitting here third in the division, Grove are down in eighth, they're in decent form and we're inconsistent so hopefully we can nick the goals today and push on for trying to get into the top two positions in the division. Now I did go and download the latest update and installed it. Uh, for the skin um, just to find out that due to Sport Interactive's fantastic update a few of the features are no longer working like they should so let's go forward to our tactics for instance and there you go it's lost all the pictures and names underneath everybody how wonderful is that well done so yes um, I did check out the forum on it and he's like the guy who makes this skins like yes it's being worked on as we speak it's gonna not be ready for a few more days so hopefully he'll have it ready for next week or the week after the latest and we can get all these pictures and all back and all the positions back because obviously I can click on it it'll tell you who it is see Keith Miller's in there but we can't physically see the names etc or the pictures or what position they're playing or anything for some reason and um, it was all due to the latest update from Sports Interactive so anyway this is the team that's going to play so we got Anderson and Gold with Bell Boyd Moore and Gardner across the back with Martin and Mahal Mahalton in midfield in front of them we got Miller in the middle Kemp in the left and McKeown on the right if I'm right yep that's right and Andy Kane up front on the bench is Shannon, Lindsay, Muldrew, Simpson and Khan. so fingers crossed we can pick up the points again today boys wish us all luck and yes we're still using a new PC so bonus also new editing software so I don't know how well things are going to turn out if the journeyman turns out okay on, the, on YouTube by all means let me know in the comments because I won't know until uh, we get to that point. So, oh look at that! That's all really funky and nice. Well, let's just kick straight into kickoff and see what we can do. We're in the all black, Grover in red, and we kick off Kane out the mirror. And as you say, nothing ever happens in the kickoff highlight normally. And I'm not expecting too much here. They're both play we're both playing the same formation as well. So it should be an interesting game to say the least. Hopefully plenty of highlights as well. Are we playing the same formation? It didn't remember my save settings since oh okay, that should be league table. That should be a little scores. There we go, that'll do. That will do, that will do nicely. And Rosario 2 0 up already. Jesus Christ, lads. Give us a chance. Don Donald 2 0 up. Portaferry must be winning. Because they're just leaped up there as well. They are. They're 1 0 up. Oh, goodness. Seamus Moore is booted again in his second game in a row. And here comes Hunter and I for Grove. Beautiful ball in. Oh, free header for Mason. Oh, we were lucky there. And as long as Portaferry doesn't score a second, we will remain third of how things currently are standing. But I would like a goal. Rosario 4 0 up. What's going on? The Murray, come on. Jamara 1 0 up, and Gardner and Iva threw in. Kemp. Kemp loses it again. Two games in a row. Kemp keeps losing it, but he did score a cracking goal. Mahatan cuts it out. McKeown now. Oh, terrible ball by McKeown. And Murray clears up. Hunter pumps it forward. And Bell should get there. Oh, no, no, no. Anderson was not looking. That is a fault. I hit that fault with this game. Oh, Bell OG. Not even a mistake. This is just a glitch in the software with Sports Interactive. It's always nice whenever it goes in for you, but whenever it goes against you. Oh, shocking. Oh. oh well. And Hunter with a free kick again. Well wide. Jermar 3 0 up. That might push them above us, you know. It does. We're down to 6th now. We're down to 6th because we conceded that goal. 
That's not good. Plus, the goal difference is much better than us, Niger Mara. We need to score some goals. That's not a very good first half for Barn, to say the least. Things need to improve in the second half. Uh, let's change this mentality to attacking. Kane's having another shocker game. Two bad games in a row for Andy Kane. It's not what we want. Yeah, you can be a poacher up front. Uh, we've got to bring Muldrew back in the middle. No, Muldrew into the middle. Muir's having a terrible game at centre back, so we're going to take him out and bring Con in at centre back. Left back's having a shocking game as well. No good stats across the board at all. So we've made our three changes at half time. Con, Muldrew, and Simpson all. Muir, Miller, and Kane off. I don't like taking Kane off because he can score goals, but I've got two new young. Three new young strikers have just brought in on amateur contracts. We got two 21 year olds and an 18 year old. They're all pretty decent looking for this division, but obviously they're not going to play for a little bit. So we'll see what happens. Hunter with a free kick again, whips it in nicely. Oh god, we're 2 0 down. This is not good at all. Not good at all. Murray with a goal. Grover way below us in the table, but this is just looking diabolical now. Good free kick by Hunter. Murray with a great finish. Absolutely superb finish. Show some feckin' passion, lads. We should not be losing the Grove. Grove now jump and leapfrog us in the table. Come with a free kick. Oh, what a save by Forsyth. Come with a thumping free kick there. Can I put in a decent corner now? Decent corner, one of our own boys. Come on, nobody wins there, nobody there. But he gets a second bite of the cherry. He finds Martin though. He went short, Muldrew. Oh, easily cleared up. Con, no chance from the other side this time. Again, Forsyth puts it over the bar. That's two chances Con's had to score goals now. He's not going to hit this corner, Mahatan does. Whips it in, and again, no one there, but. Johnson will get there, but Manhattan should pick up the loose ball, play it inside. He finds Khan, Muldrew. Oh, Muldrew just loses it. Too easy, lads. Too easy. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Do we abandon this formation, lads? Do we abandon it? Do we go two up top? And switch to a 4-4-2. We're back up to 5th. Which is good. <laughs> because Rosario are 5-3 up now. Jesus. Because Portoferri now losing. To Balna Henshi United. Which is good news for us. Because we were dropping down the table. We're still only 3 points behind Rosario as things stand. We get a point that would be nice. Manhattan. Oh, Murray gets there though. And clears it down the line. Gardner just pumps it in, but no one there again. Martin finds McKeown. Muldrew! Oh, just wide by Muldrew. Barnes should have really pulled the goal back there. Chance after chance is going to beg in here, lads. It's not very, very good at all. Yeah, we know Clark's accomplished in the air. He scored a crack and volley, though. <sighs> Anderson with the free kick pumps it forward again we don't win it and again no second ball one I'm thinking of going two up top for the next game going back to 4-4-2 Boyd picks up the loose ball pumps it in to McKeown McKeown finds Martin who brings it forward oh, come on boys we're better than this Bell finds Muldrew finds El Hatton Beautiful ball and Kemp's not there though. That's this is what I mean. We need we need a second striker, I think. Oh beautiful route one football Smith, but easy for the youngster Anderson. Remember Anderson's only what 16, 17 in goals? So we're relying on youth and nets, but we are playing awful across the back and oh Smith's in again, through ball twice in a row. And Anderson's equal to it again. Great save by the youngster. But that's twice in a row we have been caught by a through ball. And 
who was that? Simpson, our striker, heading it out. Murray keeps it in, though. He's found Stewart. If they go 3 0 up, they don't deserve it. Gardner trying to put the challenges in. And again, good challenge. But again, it's the Groves ball. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a 2 0 defeat here. Not exactly ideal at all. But, you know, we can't win them all. You know, these things happen. Stewart plays it in. Oh, is that a penalty? Oh, it is a penalty. It's probably 3 0 down. Oh, shocking play at the edge of the box. Grove, Grove don't deserve it. Grove United do not deserve 3 0. And that is 3 0. Hunter with a fantastic finish. Keeper had no chances. First goal. Now we're down to sixth. Now we're dropping down the table of all these goals going against us. 3 0 is a terrible result. Oh, great finish though. They don't deserve 3 0 victory, that's for sure. If they get a fourth, that's going to be embarrassing. Well, there's going to be a few players getting told off after this game, that's for sure. I'm not going to stand for it. There you go. 3 0 victory, lads. Barnier absolutely destroyed. We're down to sixth now in the table. There you go. Live table on the right hand side. We drop all the way down to sixth. Not ideal at all. We are three points off promotion still, so we're still in the hunt. But we need to start picking up points fast, otherwise this is going to be the end of uh, our promotion chances. Well guys, thank you very much for joining this. It's been a pleasure as always. Hit the thumbs up like button if you've enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our other content. It's been a pleasure and I will see you on the next game. Have a good one. All the best guys. Bye.